<sighs> I've got some amazing I got I got a revelation from the Lord and it's almost I want to I want to correct myself when when I gave that hell testimony um, I got bit by a bug or something but I'm not gonna let that stop me when I somebody asked me in the comments why I went to hell and I'm gonna recant my answer because the Lord just opened my eyes I didn't go to hell because of my sin if you would have asked me back then are you saved and how do you know it this is what I would have said I would have said yeah I'm saved because you know I grew up in the church I went to a Christian school I got baptized twice I did this I did that and I'm I'm not a very bad person you know it was all I I I it was all I should be okay because I'm not like you know these worse people or you know I'm a pretty good person I was trusting in me so I was taking my belief and almost turning it into a work if you ask me now are you saved and how do you know it I would say yes I'm saved because I realize now that I am the biggest sinner saved by grace that I, I put all my faith in Jesus Christ I know there's nothing I could ever do to earn even a molecule I know that no matter what we do people a lot of you are worried about our salvation is completely through Jesus Christ trust him like a little child put all your faith in him like a little child I would say because I completely put my trust in Jesus I know I know I'm a sinner I know I could never earn God's favor I could never do anything good enough to even add a, 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 a minute molecule to my salvation. I'm completely trusting in Jesus Christ. So then I would have said, yeah, I'm not a very bad person. I should be okay. Now I'm saying I am a horrible person and it's only because of Jesus Christ that we're getting saved. So put all your faith and trust in Jesus. You know, when he says... Um, he says, I, truly I tell you, uh, ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. He didn't say, ask and I'll think about it. Or seek and you might find. Knock and I'll, I might come to the door. No, he said, you ask anything in my Father's name that's his will. So if you're struggling with something ask and have faith Jesus says as your faith is so be it on to you now listen I've I, I'm gonna do another video that God has given me a revelation it's in it a mind-blowing mind-blowing I'm sure a lot of you have heard talk about the rapture and everything I'm gonna prove with the Bible with the Bible that the pre-tribulation rapture is the truth and why it's the truth why it's the truth but I'm not going to do it on this video I'm going to do it on a diff the next video Lord willing um, I've studied the Bible I read the Bible daily I can't tell you how many times I've read it okay I've read Revelation so many t I couldn't even begin to uh, 30 40 times I don't know I've even read it backwards chapter by chapter Trying to understand the timelines and the framings. The Bible says, blessed are those who read the prophecy of this book, you know. Um, but I just wanted to tell you, I went to hell because I was trusting in myself, my good works. I believed in Jesus, and I was, but I was trusting in myself. See how they sound so similar Ver now, versus then, now versus then? Because it's a heart matter. In the heart back then, yeah, I believed in Jesus, and I'm a, not a bad person. I should be okay. Now it's, I completely believe in Jesus. With, I put my faith in him because I'm a bad person, and I'm not okay without him. So uh, I encourage us all, turn to Jesus. Um, put all your faith in him. Put all your trust in him. Um, and if you ask anything, have faith that he will answer. And you know, a lot of people have commented how, man, I can't feel God. I, you know, I think he's abandoned. He doesn't abandon us. He doesn't abandon us. He's he he may be growing our faith. He may be. And another thing, 
let's say you smoke for 50 years and then you decide to quit smoking. Somebody gets saved and they decide to quit smoking. That doesn't mean that you still don't have emphysema, you know. It doesn't mean, now God can do miracles, but he also, the consequences of our sin, we suffer, okay? So, it doesn't mean that when we stop, so you backslide and then you turn to God and you can't feel him like a lot of you have said or this or that. It God allows us to suffer the consequences for our sin in our physical body. The wages of sin is death. But, you have to keep trusting in him and you have to keep knocking and you have to keep seeking and you have to keep asking with faith because he did he promised he will ask and you will okay you will receive um he loves us and he's trying to grow our walk with him and I've got some exciting, imp you know, if you heard people, if, if when you start studying your Bible, and then you hear, uh, which I have been doing for many years, and you hear somebody talking like, for example, oh, well, how could angels, how could angels, um, how could angels, she got a haircut in a bath, how could angels um, come procrastinate with women? when uh, they're angels. Okay, if you knew your Bible, you would know it says that be careful, you know, when you meet strangers, because many of you entertain angels unaware. In other words, they can take the shape of a human being. So that's why they, so if they can take the shape of a human being, they can certainly take the shape of an alien. Okay? That's one thing. Another thing is, well, the thief on the cross, Jesus said to him, on this day you will be with me in paradise forever. Well, and then the Bible says he descended to the lower parts of the earth. He was in the grave three days and three nights. And he worked, ministered unto the spirits in the lower part of the earth. Okay. How could he have been in paradise on this day when he went down for three days? He was in the grave. Simple. If you knew your Bible, you would know that it, paradise is, is another name for it is Abraham's bosom. When Jesus speaks of the rich man in Lazarus, that's not a parable, by the way. I, I, I can't believe people say that. He gives specific details, even if the dogs licked his sores. These are real people. Lazarus went to Abraham's bosom. Before Christ died on that cross, and if you were a believer in the Messiah coming, or a prophet, or righteous, or one of God's people, and you died, you went down in the earth to paradise. They called it paradise, and they also called it Abraham's bosom. That's why the rich man looked across the great chasm. He didn't look up into heaven. He looked. He, they were both down there. Looked across and seen Lazarus in Abraham's bosom. Said, Father Abraham. Which, by the way, when you're in hell, you just have knowledge. I, I, you don't know how... Send Lazarus to dip his finger because he was tormented in flames. Okay? The Bible says that he went and took the captive captive. He set him free. He brought when Jesus, he went down to minister to the spirits, not the rich man's side. Not, they're doomed. No. Lazarus, Abraham, uh, Adam and Eve, all the Old Testament saints and prophets that were on in paradise. It was a place in hell that was... She is paradise, where they, they were comforted. Abraham greeted them as they came down. He took all of them out. So now when we die in Christ, our, to be absent from the body is present with the Lord, we go up. Our spirit does. So that's how the thief <laughs> went to paradise on that day with Jesus. And then uh, three days later, all of them went. He took them all up set them free and took their spirits to heaven so now after the cross when you die in christ you don't have to go down there to paradise or abraham's bosom you go up to paradise in heaven okay little things man you hear people all the time when you know your bible okay when you study the word of god and one more thing if you're the kind of person who likes arguing with people about the bible but you've never studied it shame on you Keep your mouth shut until you have read it 
cover to cover unless you're asking somebody a question with a sincere heart. But if you're coming at them from an argumentative point of view and yet you haven't yourself read it, studied it, sought out God's will and words, you shouldn't even open your mouth. Okay? And when you're trying to... So people don't even argue with people who... And know a couple verses here and there, but haven't taken the time to actually study God's holy, precious word, the word of God. Okay, um, that's just <laughs> straight up, and I'm straight up, dude. Don't even, don't even. I, I, it drives me nuts. You know, don't even argue. Don't even open your mouth, man. If you ain't read it for yourself. And I have uncovered, I've, God says anybody wants wisdom, let them ask the Father. I've been, yesterday I was on my hands and knees bawling like a baby to God when he told me, gave me some stuff in the Bible, I'm going to prove, my next video, I'll prove in the pre-tribulation rapture. Beyond the shadow of any doubt. And it's not to save us out of here. Oh, you just guys want to be... No, it's every saint since Jesus. Every believer since Jesus. The age of grace. All those in the grave. The dead in Christ shall rise first. That's all those in the grave that have... that My mom, my wife, all back 2,000 years. All of them. Don't go through the tribulation. None of us go through the tribulation because the tribulation is not for us. The tribulation and the rapture is God's mercy on the unbeliever, not the believer. It's mercy for the unbeliever. The ones that are all scoffing right now, they're gonna go, they're not gonna buy this alien junk. And that's why John says, I saw a great multitude no man could number. In heaven, of every kindred, nation, and tongue that came out of the tribulation, that group came out of the tribulation. Well, that group ain't this group. But I got proof, and I'm going to show it. It's biblical proof, and that's my next video. So, God bless you all. And remember, the difference between being saved then was, I'm not very bad. I, I said the prayer. I should be okay. I pray, you know, to now, oh my, Jesus, we're all sinners. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. Thank you so much, God, for your gift in Jesus Christ. Thank you so much that his death and resurrection paid for all of my sins. All of them, past, present, future. We're children of God. You put all your faith in Jesus Christ. All right. God bless. This is an old hymn called Just As I Am.